As the sun rose over the South China Sea, a sleek jet bearing China's red flag touched down in Shanghai. The Comac C929 completed a 12,000-kilometer nonstop journey, a new era in aviation. For decades, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies. Today, they face a formidable challenger. By launching the C929, Beijing signals it's no longer just the world's factory. It's an innovator, ready to challenge the established order. The dragon has learned to fly, and the sky will never be the same. China's journey to the skies began decades ago, marked by setbacks and determination. In the 1970s, the Shanghai Y-10 project aimed high but failed, teaching China hard lessons about technology and industry. Instead of giving up, China became a key supplier for Boeing and Airbus, learning from the best while building its own expertise. This strategy allowed China to absorb Western technology and train a new generation of engineers. Massive state investment followed, with Comac founded in 2008 to break the Western duopoly. Aerospace became a national priority under the Made in China 2025 plan. China's ambition was clear move from assembling iPhones to building the jets that carry them. The first step was the ARJ-21 regional jet, which, despite delays, provided invaluable experience. The ARJ-21 taught Comac how to design, manufacture, and certify aircraft, a crucial foundation. Each project, success or failure, was a stepping stone. The lessons learned paved the way for China's next, more ambitious chapter. The long march was methodical, patient, and relentless. Now, China stands ready to challenge the world's aviation giants. The C919 was China's first real shot at the global aviation market, designed to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. After its 2017 maiden flight, the C919 entered service in 2023, celebrated as a symbol of China's technological rise. The government ensured a captive domestic market allowing Comac to refine the aircraft and build a safety record. However, the C919 relied heavily on Western engines and avionics, a strategic vulnerability. Critics called it a Western plane in Chinese clothing, but it was a vital learning platform. The C919 proved China could integrate complex systems and force the world to take its ambitions seriously. It was never the final goal, but a bridge to something greater. The expertise gained set the stage for a true long-haul competitor built on homegrown technology. The C919 walked so the C929 could fly. Today, the C929 lifted off from Santiago, Chile, bound for Shanghai, a 12,000-kilometer test of endurance and engineering. This high-profile flight was a statement. The C929 is a global contender, not just a regional player. For nearly 14 hours, test pilots and engineers monitored every system as the world watched. All systems performed flawlessly, according to China's aviation authority. The C929's most significant leap, it's powered by Chinese-made AECC CJ2000 engines, breaking dependence on Western suppliers. Mastering jet engines is a rare feat, and China's success here is a technological milestone. The C929 can carry up to 320 passengers, rivaling the Airbus A330, NEO, and Boeing 787. Its range enables non-stop flights between major global cities. With this flight, Comac has proven its capability and sent a clear message to Boeing and Airbus. A new competitor has arrived. The global aviation map has been redrawn. What sets the C929 apart? Advanced technology and self-reliance. Its airframe uses carbon fiber composites, making it lighter and more fuel efficient, up to 15% less fuel burn than older jets. The cabin is wider, with larger windows and advanced lighting to enhance passenger comfort. Next generation air filtration and higher humidity help passengers feel refreshed after long flights. Pilots benefit from a state-of-the-art glass cockpit and Chinese-developed avionics, reducing reliance on Western tech. Predictive maintenance systems use thousands of sensors to keep the aircraft safe and efficient. The CJ2000 engines, 
a product of decades of research, use advanced materials for high thrust and efficiency. While not yet matching the very latest Western engines, the CJ2000 is a credible, homegrown achievement. The C929's greatest asset is its independence. China now controls every critical component. This is a true sovereign aircraft project. The C929's success shakes the foundations of the Boeing Airbus duopoly. For 40 years, airlines had only two choices for large jets, giving the incumbents immense power. Now, COMAX entry means more competition, especially in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, regions where China has built strong ties. The C929 is more than an airplane. It's a tool of China's foreign policy, bundled with financing and infrastructure deals. This shift threatens Western aerospace jobs and technological dominance, raising the stakes for trade tensions. Western governments may slow C929 certification, citing safety but motivated by politics. The C929 challenges the narrative of Western technological supremacy, inspiring other nations. Building a jet like the C929 is a symbol of national power, and China has just unveiled its new symbol, the ripple effects will be felt in boardrooms and government ministries worldwide. The global balance of power in aviation is changing. Boeing and Airbus can no longer afford complacency. Dismissing the C929 would be a mistake. Its price and state backing make it a real threat. Expect both companies to accelerate innovation, pushing next-gen aircraft, greener technologies, and radical designs. They'll leverage their global support networks and decades of safety data as key advantages. Political lobbying will intensify, with trade disputes and demands for fair market access. The battle for orders will be fought by diplomats as much as sales teams. Both may rethink their supply chains, reducing reliance on China or seeking deeper partnerships. The choices made now will shape their fortunes for decades, the era of easy market sharing is over. The race for the skies has entered a new phase. Experts see the C929 as a milestone, but the real test is whether COMAC can scale production and win global trust. Aviation analysts note, it's no longer about building the plane, but supporting it worldwide and convincing airlines of its value. Geopolitical experts warn the C929 is a direct challenge to American industry and national prestige. Expect Washington to respond with export controls and diplomatic pressure. Airline executives are pragmatic. If the C929 is safe, efficient, and cheaper, it will be considered. After Chinese airlines prove it in service, competition is good for airlines and passengers. For developing nations, the C929 is an inspiration, a model for moving up the value chain through investment and vision. China's strategy shows it's possible to challenge established players with the right policies. The C929 is more than a jet. It's a symbol of what's possible for emerging economies. The world is watching to see if COMAC can deliver on its promise. The next few years will determine if the C929 becomes a global fixture or remains a regional player. Either way, the landscape has changed. The C929's landing in Shanghai is more than a technical feat. It's a symbol of a changing world. The sky, once dominated by two Western giants, now welcomes a new contender. This shift brings both opportunity and uncertainty, as technological and economic power becomes more multipolar. For travelers, increased competition could mean lower fares, new routes, and better comfort. For the industry, it means innovation and a more complex global landscape. But new tensions will arise. Trade disputes, safety standards, and political alliances will shape the future. The world of aviation may fragment, with different regions favoring different manufacturers. Navigating this new era will require careful diplomacy and cooperation. The C929's flight is a story of vision and ambition, challenging us to rethink the global order. The journey has just begun, and the sky's the limit for what comes next.